Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is June 7th, 2023. I'm here to talk about uh, Alibaba today to show you how the buyers of this particular market is unfazed at the weakness that recently went through over the last couple of weeks. And I'm going to show you all by the price chart without the confusion, simply looking at price bars and volume because it tells us a story. So let's talk about it. So now I did a price prediction in Alibaba going all the way back to May the 16th. Okay, that was my last video to where we created this price prediction. You guys can see my expectation is for price to go up. We had a couple of days, okay, following this price prediction to where Alibaba did go higher in two days. And then the market after earnings, price in Alibaba went back down. Now, I've told you that buyers into the market in Alibaba is coming in right there around $78.75. This is where the buyers are at. And given the recent price action in Alibaba, I can tell that they're still there, that they're unfazed at the weakness that occurred following Alibaba's earnings report on the 18th. The buyer stepped back in the market in Alibaba right here on the 25th, all the way to June the 1st. And then we also received some strength indicators. Look at that, a push go a bar. And then again, we saw another one yesterday, okay? So we're definitely seeing that the buyers into the market in Alibaba is trying to control the price. That's what they're trying to do. Now, my only problem that I can see is as price in Alibaba comes up here to this prior resistance area of around $88.25, that the market could still go down from there. That would definitely tell me that the buyers have a bigger job ahead of them of actually trying to move this market up into our profit area so i'm literally waiting to see the buyers take out this prior highs right there around 88 dollars and 25 cents give or take i want to see that happen once i see that happen and if it happens then i know my price prediction is still accurate okay so that's what i'm looking at right now but I'm here to show you that, yeah, currently the buyers into the market in Alibaba is telling me that they're unfazed at the recent selling that brought price back down to $78.75. They're still there. But my concern is looking at this, buyers not able to break price above that area there. That's my only concern. If we're able to see that price in Alibaba break this area, then yeah, our price prediction, price prediction is still valid. If we don't, then we need to adjust our prediction. See, you don't have to be emotional. You don't have to question. We already have an idea, a plan as to what to expect. So we're about to embark on this event of seeing if buyers in the market in Alibaba, if they're going to be able to take out that price at $88.25. Just got to wait and see, Like we don't know, but we do see the buyers have an opportunity to do just that. Here's Alibaba on three day chart. Okay. Here it is on the five. Alibaba on the weekly. Two weeks. Three. Five. And the monthly. So when you look at this on a longer duration, a longer time period, you can literally tell how the buyers are here. Okay. Now, it may not be buyers. Why would I say that? Because we're making lower highs into the market in Alibaba. So we definitely need to see some life coming to the market in Alibaba right now. We're getting it on a daily time frame, but we want to see it transfer over to a longer time period which we're not there yet. We don't see strength on these longer periods, the two weeks, three, five in the monthly time frame. We don't see the strength yet. It's here on the daily. We can tell by the indicators that we're receiving. We need that to transition over to the longer period. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to continue to go forward with this price prediction here. Let me hold that line. I want to hold that because I want to use this as a reference point. Okay, but we'll go ahead and leave this alone. And give the market more opportunity to continue to move forward with this prediction 
and if we don't see that price break $88, $88.25, then we may have to let this one go. And it just didn't work out. But give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.